That's where Skullface is keeping Sahelanthropus before setting it loose in Afghanistan. There's a good chance he's got nukes, too. Boss, we need to figure out what Skullface is up to. If you make contact with him, get him to talk. The ethnic cleansing parasites, Sahelanthropus. Find out what his plans are. A fragmentary, misunderstood masterpiece, meticulously crafted and laced with imperfection. A narrative half-resolved, a broken Ouroboros. However it's framed, the waves of post-release critiques surrounding the ninth and final installment of Kojima Productions' techno-stealth thriller series often describes the game as brilliant despite it finding new and creative ways to dumbfound its audience, recontextualize plotlines and retcon character arcs along the way. These points of view are largely at odds with Metal Gear Solid V's near universally perfect review scores. For the most part, reviewers praise The Phantom's Pain's immersive open world, its innovative gameplay fostering player freedom. This feature isn't an attempt to demystify Metal Gear Solid V's discombobulating narrative, though. There are already plenty of feature-length analysis and series-spanning deep dives dissecting Metal Gear's tapestried narrative floating around the internet. No, instead, this feature places Metal Gear Solid V's prowess as a stealth title firmly between the crosshairs, taking aim at the strengths propping Big Boss, aka Venom Snake's final foray as the zenith of the stealth games. So let's get started. Stealth games are methodical in nature, their pacing stately. Gameplay is characterized by carefully deliberate movement, by patience in hiding, escape and evasion. Avoiding enemy detection requires disguises, camouflage, and lurking in shadows. There are rafts of mainstream titles incorporating elements of stealth into their gameplay. Aragami, Dishonored, and even A Plague's Tale blend stealth with action-adventure, Desperados 3 or Shadow Tactics themselves borrowing liberally from the Commando series blueprint. Merge real-time tactics with stealth-oriented gameplay. Stealth's perchant for shadow-lurking births new realms of survival horror as well, with 2014's Alien Isolation demanding players incessantly evade the clutches of a deadly xenomorph. Titles adopting a militarized aesthetic are perhaps the truest form of video game stealth. Alongside Splinter Cell and Sniper Elite, Hideo Kojima's Metal Gear series has dominated military-style stealth titles since the late 1990s. Up until 2015, Metal Gear Solid V's The Phantom Pain stealth missions had been largely linear affairs. To describe in overly simplistic terms, you start at point A and get to point B, gather intelligence or rescue a hostage, all whilst avoiding detection. The Phantom Pain, in contrast, eschews the linear confines of its stealth game forebears, instead supplanting Venom Snake into the wide, open expanse of Afghanistan and the Angola Zaire border region. And despite the large scale of these open worlds, there is a deliberate sense of refinement. Metal Gear Solid V isn't concerned with endless quest markers and bloating side operations. No, the bloat comes in the number of options in which the players can tackle any scenario. It's what, as Hideo Kojima calls it, the first true open world experience. And yeah, this wasn't exactly unique to open world formula in 2015, but in terms of stealth games, whom up to this point had relied on the scripted linearity of tightly designed levels, an unbloated open-world stealth sandbox was a novel endeavor. Both silent stealth and loud lethal violence are valid options. Although perhaps the stealthier strategies offer the most reward, and if approaching a heavily guarded outpost, there's certainly plenty of tools at Snake's disposal with which to misdirect an enemy patrol. Maybe he could separate a guard from the pack. Well, there are magazines he can throw, or he can shoot a tranquilizer round at a nearby wall. Their sound causing the guards to break formation to investigate or a more impactful option might be to deploy an active decoy. That is, an inflatable human replica designed to look like Venom. Complete when upgraded with classic Metal Gear Solid one-liners, kept you waiting, huh? Or, you're pretty good. Kept you waiting, huh? Awesome. 
tongue-in-cheek nods to cringeworthy phrases used throughout the series, of course. Active decoys are such a versatile tool. Their noisy distractions separate guards from the pack. Their e-stun decoy upgrades leave enemies stunned if they try to pop it too. Their rapid inflation can even be utilized offensively by chucking at an unsuspecting guard. There are few restrictions on how players can position Snake when executing a plan of attack as well. Marquee open-world experiences such as Horizon Zero Dawn often feature landmarks that are carefully designed to funnel players down a particular pathway. But with open-ended locations in Metal Gear Solid 5, players have opportunity to observe, to take their time to assess the best entryway, to create a solution. For instance, their patrol route observations might indicate the most opportune place to lay a row of sleep mines, or perhaps they'll want to hide away from a patrolling guard, reducing the chances of raising an alert by being heard or seen, before holding up the enemy freezing them in place for the remainder of the mission. Once again, the clever design of Metal Gear Solid 5's open-ended 360 degrees environments offer players freedom seldom seen in open-world games, let alone stealth titles. Ordinarily, the ever-increasing scale of video game open-world means more and more titles are shipping bloated with senseless busywork, with a handful of exceptions, say Red Dead Redemption 2. But again, the Phantom Pain's environments, populated by friendly and enemy NPCs, are designed to promote endless gameplay possibilities, a crowning achievement to which, unsurprisingly, no other title has bettered in the seven years since its release. We haven't even mentioned Metal Gear Solid 5's buddy system either, whereby, should Venom Snake reportedly bring a companion into the field with them, they'll build trust, which will come useful as the game progresses. Wolf Hybrid D-Dog can utilize their bark to distract enemies, or Quiet can run ahead to reveal enemy locations inside a compound or invisibly take down foes dotted around the perimeter. These extra tricks come in extra handy as the game progresses and the enemy AI grows smarter. But here's the kicker. Their intellect improves in ways that adapt to playstyle. Traditionally, artificial intelligence in video games is one of the most challenging aspects to program. The most recent Splinter Cell, 2013's Blacklist, did an admirable job of portraying fair and balanced enemy AI, even if they did seem a little too telepathic at time. Metal Gear Solid 5 seems to take a different approach. The question of fairness doesn't come into the equation as the enemy AI behaves and reacts to players' individual playstyles. For instance, should Venom Snake master the art of headshots, then very quickly enemy patrols are going to start wearing protective helmets. Perhaps the player prefers to infiltrate a compound at nighttime. Well, guards will start to become better equipped for that too by waving their own flashlights ahead. Metal Gear Solid 5 features a ton of AI optimization, meaning the stealth tactics a player needs to take into a level is constantly in flux. Snake also grows battle-weary and tired as the game goes on as well forcing players to reassess and craft bestoke strategies to infiltrate enemy strongholds. Coming full circle to the main characteristics of the stealth genre, that is, patience, methodical movement, observation, hiding. Enemies that adapt their approach to playstyle mean they're constantly moving the goalposts. They're forcing the player to continually think outside the box with every mission. And gracefully, no matter the solution derived, the game very rarely says no. It's safe to say in the years succeeding Metal Gear Solid 5, the stealth genre has peaked. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.